when you only jump a few fences, you don't know what the fuck you're going to do about it, <laughs> right? <laughs> right? Right? You just canter down and hope. But as but as the as the number of efforts stack up and stack up and stack up and stack up, you begin to make choices. And then what happens? The choices that you start to make become more accurate choices. And then you start to derive some confidence that your eye is such that you can make confident choices. And so you become more confident, you become more more accurate, and then eventually you get a Daryl Kinney. But you don't start with a Daryl Kinney. You don't start with this Daryl Kinney. You started with a different Daryl Kinney. That what? Oh my Make God, decisions. I don't know where the hell I am, <laughs> nor how I'm going to get there, nor what I'm going to do when I do get there, if I get there. Yeah. Right? Isn't that true? Yeah. I mean, not you weren't terrible, but you, you weren't like an advanced rider. But Daryl has had one advantage. She jumps and 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 she jumps. And so for you guys who maybe don't have, you're not, you know, you're full-time veterinarians or what do you do? You're an artist. You don't have horse after horse after horse to jump every day. You're doing other stuff. You have to maximize the time that you do spend by replicating at an easier level so the horse can take it the same kind of experiences that Buck Davidson had. But you, you can get a lot better than you are by what? Making the most of your opportunities. And to me, one of the best ways you can make the most of the opportunities is when you do jump, have small enough fences so if you don't, so if you mess up, it doesn't matter too much. And practice. And little by little, as you start to make those choices, the choices will start to become, magically become better choices. And you won't even know why you did it. You won't even know why. It'll just be from the accumulation of it. You canter. One, two, three, three, two, left, good. One, two, one, two, three, three, two, one. Yeah, good. Head up. Pick her head up, 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 good. Now get her head up, get her head up, up, wait, up, wait, one, two, press, good. Keep her head where? Up, yeah, mean it. Two, get it up, one, get her head up, one, head up, two, up, two, one, two, three. two, yeah, good. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, he's getting a little low, so she comes through the turn, what's she going to have to do? Pick him up. One, two, one, two, whoa, one, two, one, two, one, two. Two, we sit, three. Now, whoa! She's getting run away with a little bit. She's not interjecting enough of the half hawks into this horse to put the hawks back under him, is she? Whoa, wait, whoa, wait. One, two, three. Whoa! See? Think what? Whoa, lift. Don't let them spill. Two, three. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Three, two, one. Yes! So I want him to land and lift, not land and pitch. Wait, sit, wait, sit, wait, sit. Perfect. Wait. When the horse leaves the ground, raise your chin. Three, two, perfect. Great. That's it. Feel how raising your chin holds you up. Leg on. Turn your toe out. Really good. Good. Stay back and look up. You're looking in the sky. You're looking in the sky. Really good. Now look up, look up, look up. Stay back. Good girl. Really good. Heels down. Leg on. Leg on. Leg on. Leg on. Go. Look up. Look up. Good. Keep your leg. Stay back, look up. Good. Perfect with the legs. See how her leg kicked out in front? What is authority? The feeling that he wants to get there. If you want, if your horse wants to get there, it gives you something to know.
not back from it. If the horse is just kind of loping, and then you half hog, you take you take away from not enough to begin with. Does that make sense? Yeah. So you want that feeling of a tiny bit being run away with, it. and it's a little bit daunting. Real quick, I'm going to leg that cord again. Stay in the middle. 